Hi, this is Quad Tomato. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can add time range to your uh, indicator or strategy in PineScript. So first of all, why do you need a uh, time range in your indicator in TradingView? So for example, you trade a Bitcoin and you are able to trade only from, let's say, 9 to 5. And you don't care much what's going on in other times and you want to concentrate only on signal in this um, period, for example. Or for example, you think that uh, time itself is good uh, signal and you think, for example, that some signal works in the morning better than in the evening, for example. So how you can add um, time range to your indicator? So um, uh, the only function you need to use is function called time. So we'll create a variable called t and uh, function time actually outputs time for exact time for your bars. So uh, first um, parameter you need to specify is what uh, time frame do you need to use. I will use um, time frame uh, dot um, period um, built in variable and uh, this variable just stores my current time frame. So one hour, for example. And next variable, you need to specify a session that you want to trade in. So let's say, as I said, for example, you trade nine to five. How do you want, how do you, can you specify that? So you just say that, okay, I trade from nine hours, zero minutes to um, 17 hours, zero minutes. So that's actually it. So what a time function will do is that for all bars inside uh, this range, it will output uh, exact time for this bar. And for all other bars outside this range, it will output not available a value. So let's check how that works. I will add um, background color based on this T variable. So what I need to do is, um, so if um, my T is not, not available, what I will do is I will um, add color green and um, not available in other cases. So let's save it and see how it works. So here you can see we have some kind of green background appear on our screen. And if you look at it, uh, yeah, it starts at nine o'clock and last bar and ends in uh, like 17 hours at five o'clock. So it seems to work. The only problem is that we miss some uh, values here. So this is weekend. And um, so by default, it actually uh, things that you don't treat on weekends, but you actually, actually can change that. To change that, you need to add a colon to your um, session specification. And after that, you have to list all day of the weeks you want to trade. So I will list all of them. So one to seven, let's save it and see if it works for us. So you can see that it works fine. We now we have all days and uh, for every day we have this range from nine to five selected. So it's quite a good. So now let's add this to our, um, to our strategy. So first of all, I will add a uh, time condition, a variable, and I will save um, not an A as my time condition, just this way it will be a bit simpler. Now I will just copy my time condition and I will add this to my if statement and will uh, join it with my condition with and operator. So it's very simple. So let's save it and see will it work. So now I expect my signal to work only during uh, during my um, my time range. So it, it seems to work. As you can see, we, we have all the signals in my time frame, in my time range, but there is nothing outside it. So it seems to work pretty good. So um, for example, if you want to uh, create, to add certain logic for um, first bar of your session or the first bar of a kind of session outside your training session, um, you, you can do this quite easily as well. So I will add um, a plot shape uh, function 
and in this function what do you need to check so if you want to add for first bar in your session what you can do is you want to say that um, my current um, t is not an a but my um, previous uh, t is an a and if you want to create something for uh, the first bar outside your session you can do the same but just change uh, this should be previous one and this should be current one and also i will add color here so we can understand that they're different so that's it let's see if it works okay so it's something wrong here yeah we need to add another bracket here so you can see it seems to work so for the first bar of uh, this our session we have like a blue um, cross and for the first bar of uh, session outside it we have uh, red cross so it seems to work pretty well so i think that's all for this video uh, see you bye